Hi everybody, welcome back to Crypt Monkey Paints. And today we're going to be doing this beautiful zombie head because it's the month of Halloween. Yay! I'm so happy. <sighs> so, this is a brand new print that I have managed to get my makeup on. So let me fix that. <laughs> this is a brand new print from somebody we have not printed from before. Uh, his name is Eastman and you can find him on my mini factory. He seems to specialize in a lot of um, uh, busts. I couldn't think of the word, but I was like, from here up, you know? <laughs> so he specializes in a lot of busts and oh my gosh, his one from um, Thundercats was amazing that I completely got stuck on that one. But Ty will put all of his links and all of his wonderful stuff in the chat below so you guys can find him. Um, but basically I took his big beautiful zombie head and I enlarged it as big as I possibly could because like I said on all of this month I'm going to be enlarging minis for decoration for around our house. So yay and beautiful zombie and I love him so much. So last week we had a question about if I brush paint um, all of my bases or if I are base coating if I ever uh, use dry airbrushing to to do that and for the most part I don't but I thought because this was such a large piece it'd be a good piece to try it in so I went into my little spray booth area and realized that the zombie head doesn't fit in the spray booth area so I tested on a few different pieces and found that the Krylon Decor Secrets works well with the resin and it doesn't melt it, doesn't have any ill effects or anything like that. So what I did was I took this gloss olive green, which I meant to buy matte, not gloss, but yeah, things happen. And I got a matte white, oh, got that one right. And I took him outside and I sprayed him giving myself kind of where the bone is kind of a white base uh, and then the kind of teeth and the nose area and the eyes kind of gave myself a little bit of white base and then um, got the rest of it kind of green and played around with control and you can see I didn't do great on where I did and didn't hit but these aren't made for accuracy in the first place but overall i'm really happy how this based out and i'm ready to start painting it so it's really kind of awesome uh i also did a clear coat over this just for my own i didn't i wanted to make sure that the paint even though i had done it hours before the stream i wanted to make sure that there was no tacky feeling whatsoever while i was handling it so again, when I'm doing big giant paints, woohoo, I always do, uh, I always, almost always use my just regular old craft paints from Walmart to do a lot of the bigger details and things like that. And then once I get down to the fine details, I might switch over to my mini paints, but for this, I'm not going to. And I also have amazing news from Archon. So you guys were with me when we did all of the beautiful things and the fun things for um, Cthulhu. And I submitted him for the miniature painting contest and I won Bust Den Show. So I am super, super, super happy and excited and over the moon. And basically, if Cloud9 was here, I was on the freaking roof of my house, man. I was just floating miles above everything. I was... I'm just, I'm still so ecstatic about it. <laughs> thanks, Tech Priest. Um, Ty did a lot of work on the overlay and everything else, so I'm really proud of him for that. And Corey, you didn't get me, so... Um, but... <laughs> but we also did... Um, we also had Cthulhu up for sale, and I was... I let them know when I dropped him off that he was available for purchase if anybody was interested in anything. And within an hour and a half of the convention opening, Cthulhu was sold. So, 
I was extremely happy and extremely proud. And you guys were here with me the whole time through. And it was amazing. And thank you. So I decided that our zombie's going to have brown hair because why not? So I'm going to start with a darker brown and a fairly decently sized brush. Maybe. No, I'm going to start with a smaller brush. I'm going to start with a bigger brush. I'm going to start with a dark brown so that I can dry brush. <laughs> yes, I am extremely, extremely happy with everything that happened this weekend. I was over the moon, excited, happy, elated. I, there's just, there's no words. I really, guys, I'm, yes, brushy, brushy, brushy. <laughs> it's brushy time. Woohoo. But this guy... So I don't know if you guys have caught the theme yet, but you know, see the flowers and the also called plants versus zombies. <laughs> That's why I have flowers on my face. So like I said, I'm just gonna start brushy, brushy, brushy. But no, we had a really good time at Archon. It was massively different than what we were used to. They had a lot less people than what we are. I mean, it, it seems like at Archon, you can't really hardly move. And the the vendor hall is always packed. Um, and they just didn't have that, that this year. Uh, so it it was definitely odd and we're, we're much, very much looking forward to things getting back to normal, but I still had fun. I always do. And I'm going to struggle to read chat today because I have my contacts in because I did a bunch of makeup and I'm tired of my glasses taking up and hiding all the makeup that I spend a while doing. So I'm trying these contacts, but they are not exactly perfect prescription for me. I really, I don't like this brush. I don't want to use this brush. We're going to get a different one because it's not working for me. Like I want a larger brush, but I want better control and that one is just too big. Okay. I did get to paint one mini while we were there and it was a beholder so at least you know if you're gonna do one you got to make it the right one right but he turned out awesome I even found um, that the gentleman who wanted me to paint him wanted him painted with uh, basically Oh God! Now the Matrix sort of, you know, uh, those octopus things that come in. Spoiler alert! Um, but you guys know what I'm talking about. He kind of wanted a. It's it's not flesh and bone. It's metal. So I really had a lot of fun doing that, and once again did not take photos because I'm a dork. But. So I finished it, and then I was like, I don't have anything to really make. <laughs> uh, yes, Sawdust Dragon, the Chaos Brush of Two Bigness. Yes, that is kind of awesome. Um, but I didn't have anything with me to, to decorate a base with the idea of it being metal. So I ended up, I had a couple of little tiny springs, so I straightened them out and then clipped them and then painted them to look rusted and put that around. And then I basically walked around the vendor hall before it had opened the next morning and looked for anything that I could buy. And I managed to find, ooh, that's pretty these itty bitty tiny little baby dice like smaller than regular baby dice that were metal dice so I glued two of those on there and it looked really freaking cool 
please tell me you guys can hear that music because it is completely awesome. If they cannot hear it, I don't know exactly how this extension works, but if they hover over the video, there should be the little sound stripe music extension on the right side below our sound words. Maybe there's some controls in there. Okay. That is like the perfect music for this. Well, I mean, the perfect music would be the music from the video game, but I don't think that's really an option right now. <laughs> okay, Sawdust. Okay. I see how it's going to be tonight. I do. I already see that. So what do y'all think of this model? I am really sorry because I did actually try to get it filmed um, while it printed and I managed to not get it printing or taping right and it didn't, it didn't record. So, so Ty, Ty did a wonderful thing and got me something playing. But the next one, I'm definitely going to have it recorded because I'm going to make Ty come down and do it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pick his nose. And yes, I know there's a giant hole in his head. It's there for a reason. And I'm keeping that secret for right now. I, I was looking through all the different ones because, I mean, I literally just searched zombie head and found this almost immediately and fell in love with it. Um, but then I got stuck on that guy's page for probably a good two hours just looking at the different models. And it, like I said, they're pretty much all busts, which is not really something that I typically do. Um... But his were so cool that I definitely wanted to to get some to start doing it. Because I'm like, these are freaking amazing. And I'm not being super careful to stay on the hair itself. Um, but I am taking my brush kind of sideways to make... Because as I'm coming over it, I'm, it makes extra little pieces of hair. And what'll end up happening is once I dry brush over with the other color, um, you'll just see darker and lighter strands is all that'll really happen. Ty's over here still playing with the sound stuff. Oh, mm -mm. nope, nope, sawdust, nope. Mm -mm. Nope, staying away from that. Not even going to say that out loud. I'm going to avoid reading chat for a few minutes as well. Let that scroll on past. And I even have my glow in the dark paint out. I don't know that it really glows extremely well, but my plan is to you do it on his irises. Cause I do want to stick this out in the on the porch for trick or treat trick or treaters to see. Cause that'll be fun. Dude needs to pluck his eyebrows.
It's kind of fun doing something this large. All right. And I've got, like I said, I've got a couple of different shades of different things. Let's get some of this white kind of lined up. So I sprayed it with white, but I didn't stay in the area very well. So now I'm using an antique white on top of it. Because I want that area to look like bone. Okay, I'm just, I'm reading chat a little bit. I'm trying to avoid it because I want the worm thing to go away off my screen. <laughs> it's so gross. Oh. But this is kind of like a perfect mix between me and Ty of, he likes gory gross and I like cutesy gross so it's gross but not too gross not worm gross kind of bring this area up to a brighter color so that I can use um, an icky color on top of it, but it'll show up better than if it was just left on the green. The best part of having all of this green in here is that I'm going to dry brush over it with gray. I'm going to test it down here, but it should work like really, really well. I need a liner brush for that. And I'm just doing the same thing in here of taking like these scars to a brighter color. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Okay, I know there's a couple of other, oh, there's one right underneath my thumb. forward to this being like out of them on the front porch it's gonna be awesome it'll probably live in the living room for a while until Halloween night
next week I'm going to be either painting um, a pumpkin beholder or a vampire. I haven't decided which yet. coffee. <sighs> Y'all still working on the music? I, I love having coffee at night, honestly, especially when I'm doing something like this. It's just that, that warm drink, you know? It's very soothing. Honestly, sawdust, I could grab a cup of coffee and go lay down in bed and it, it wouldn't stop me from falling asleep at all. But honestly... Oh! <laughs> it just surprised me to hear my voice. I'm trying to determine. It's, like, it's, it's really difficult. I think I'm going to try to figure something else out because this should be easy. <laughs> I'm just kind of smearing it around inside of his ear because I don't want it to be completely solid color. Oh, I don't have an ear on that side. That was what that scar was. <laughs> okay, let me get a little dry brush action going with that hair now. And I'm just like using my hand to kind of clean up any spots that get hit that I don't want paint on. <sighs> Looks like we might have one more convention app this year app than we thought we were going to get, which is kind of exciting. Um, Heroicon is in November. Uh, which they're normally in May, I believe. Yes, that sounds right. Um, so that's really kind of nice. Because I thought they just weren't going to be able to happen at all this year. It's really nice that they are. That one's always a real fun one, too. And they do a lot of charity work uh, for um, veterans and such and active duty. So that's really kind of extra nice. Because as you guys know, our little man is... He's not little, but he is currently serving... And both of my brothers served. Well, my two older brothers served. My younger brother did not. Okay. Ooh, my knees. Doing the squish my knees up underneath my 
legs again. Or squish my feet way up underneath my legs. Gonna have a bunch, bunch, bunch of minis getting listed very soon. All new ones from the new monthly releases. Damn, he scared me. Sorry. I didn't even yell. I know, it was just that. It was like a really subtle noise. I didn't even know what the hell it was for a second. Then I saw your arm go up. Um, I'm excited. I know it's a lot of work, but I'm excited. I know, but it's like one of them, uh, Mini Monster Mayhem is doing Adorable Nightmares, which is freaking amazing and I cannot wait to share all of the adorable little nightmares so basically what it it consists of is a bunch of oh look how cute this is and then here's its demonic side which is awesome and I'm super excited about it Um, and then, uh, Dragon Trapper's Lodge, Dragon Trapper's Lodge, yes, that's right. They are doing, um, all Halloween based. The Pumpkin Beholder will be coming from them. That one is super amazing looking. Um... But they have, you know, rotten trees and gravestones and uh, skeleton dragon and just super fun stuff. Okay. A little dry brush on this. Well, it's not exactly a dry brush, but it just highlights the tongue a little better. Okay. Now, let's test Ew, glitter. Let's see how this dry brush looks on this green. Well, not with that brush. trying to find a large brush that I could use because it's such a big area but that brush is just falling apart oh you got me and dad <laughs> I think this one might work Just give it that dried up look, you know what I mean? All right. But I don't, this gray is a little too dark, so I'm kind of mixing it with the off white. He's so cute. I love him. See, even this one is too rough. I don't think that's going to work. It's like I almost want to use these little sponges and just kind of... I think that's going to work better. Like the little makeup sponges, you know? works better. So 
So I'm kind of dabbing it on and then using the corner to kind of rub away a little bit. But I want that green tone to the skin, but I also want it to look dried out, so. Sort of like my thumbs look. <laughs> you got a frack out of him. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's so funny. so much fun it really is of course it's more fun for me when we've got the tie cam going too <laughs> you guys miss the tie cam well you're saying they don't want to see it but I think we're better off leaving it to them to decide that, don't you? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sister. I didn't mean to scare you, buddy. But then again, your shadow scares you, so. Cora, you don't count. You sir hasn't gotten to say hello to everybody either, Cora. Get it fixed? Um, yeah, unrelated stuff. I, I've locked myself out of all the gamers and the unknown stuff, and I had to remember the password, and I didn't. Ah. Is they're coming to say hello to everybody? Yeah. Oh, do we got a sleepy puppy? He was sleeping when you scared him. Cool, there, buddy. Come say hi to everybody. Say hi to Tur. Say hi. Oh, no, don't lick the mama's face. I know, you like the makeup. Say hi. Look, say hi, everybody. See the zombie. Roar. Oh, <laughs> you got hit by the head by the lamp. Say hi. Look, I'm sporting my little bow tie. Ain't that pretty? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Sibby's getting a treat. Yes. Oh, what's this they're going to get? Oh, what's this they're going to get? Oh, say hi to everybody. Hello. I up your pretty boy. Good boy. <laughs> Such a good boy. Number, number, number. Say, see you later, everybody's. Oh. <laughs> we should start the stream with him over here. That way it's a little easier. Maybe I won't have so many uh so much paint on my hands when I grab a hold of him. <laughs> is, is Sir your happy little squirrel? 
sir is my happy little squirrel. Didn't hear me. He didn't hear me. I was trying. He hates the squirrel word. He starts to go crazy. You can kind of see a few of the, I probably should have sanded the back of his head because that's where he's, he had a few supports back there. But I thought it kind of added to the aesthetic so I didn't worry about it too much. This sponge is actually working fairly well. It's kind of cool. <laughs> I keep looking up and just seeing chorus chanting beard man. He does have a very nice beard. And he keeps it smelling very nice too. Mainly thanks to Miss Leo. Oh, I didn't show you the new one I got you this weekend. For me? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, that's so much beard oil. Yeah, but this one was after the... It's called The King of the North. Oh. Yeah. It's, Does it smell good or you just like the name? No, it smells really <laughs> good. Like, I like the name as well, but... <laughs> I, uh... I definitely like... I, I liked the smell of it before I knew what the name of it was. What are you doing? Who? You. I am doing stuff. Ah. You do your job, I'll do mine. Okay, production manager. <laughs> so. I am going to use some of this transparent iron oxide. I'm going to put that in the areas, like on the side over here, because that's going to make it look nasty. It's going to be awesome. Oh, shit. What'd you do? It keeps, like, spurting instead of pouring out of this, because the lid gets a little bit clogged, and then it... Yeah, this is true. This is true. Especially if you're doing something arterial. Yeah, it did get him a little bit. We'll just dab it in. dries darker so it it just looks nasty
Sorry, I'm just getting like lost in the painting. I'm just like I'm I'm loving this and I'm having fun and I'm just I'm zoning in on my paint job. Because it truly is the happiest time of the year. It is, and it's so easy to just What do we call the happiest time of the year? Halloween. Halloween month. month. There you go. <laughs> Now the nice thing is, is like this area will dry and look different than where I have the white. So it's just, it looks so freaking cool. I love this paint. This is that one that's, I bought this kit. Um, because it's my normally my favorite black paint. And I bought the whole kit that had a couple of, well, not the whole kit, but I bought a kit with a few different colors in it. And this was one of them, and I very quickly fell in love with this shade as well. As always, any questions whatsoever about any of the things I'm working on or future working on or past work on or you're working on something and you want input, absolutely just ask away. I had a lot of really great questions over the weekend about 3D printing. Just shifted my whole thing. Um... I think I talked a few people's ears off about 3D printing, but. I can go on for hours about that stuff. away really easy it's fine No, I'm so, I'm like working on details in between teeth. Eyeballs between the teeth? That's funny. I said details between the teeth, <laughs> jackass. But it's eyeballs, right? Yeah. I don't want to hit his teeth, but I want the inside of his mouth to have that icky, icky color. I forget what Lord of the Print, what his theme is for this month. Well, I think it's mainly like more dragons, which is really awesome because, you know, dragons. Oh, yeah, we were looking at some of the very strong dragons, yeah. Yeah, like one of them, like both of us... Um, it was funny because we saw one of them and we're like, oh, that looks like Georgie, our bearded dragon. Yeah. Um, both of us made, it made us think of the bearded dragon right away. Yeah, it's called Indigo Dragon. Indigo Dragon. Gotcha. Um, 
So yeah, I'm going to have two releases that are all going to, well, one release is going to be all Halloween based things, um, pumpkins, pumpkin patches, um, headless horsemen, crypts, all that kind of, you know, typical uh, Halloween themed items, but also very well done. Um, and then the other one is adorable nightmares. My favorite one of that is like, they have like these cute little potion bottles that all have like faces and some of them are cracked and, so, and stuff like that. And then one of them is gigantic and it's got dead um, skeletons or, you know, not dead skeletons because, you know, what, anyway. It's got skeletons in the potion bottle. And it's like cracked and broken and you can see inside of it and it's kind of awesome. Okay, eyeballs. Um, and then there's another one that is all, um, raccoons. They're like running around with a trash can. One has a trash can over its head and another one is running away, um, with just like a, an armful of something. I don't remember exactly what it was. And then another one is transformed into the nightmare and it's like holding in its hand, it's like holding a, a big old uh, skull, <laughs> fleshy skull thing. So that was kind of amazing too. Um, I think I want to put the yellow on the tongue instead of this one. Oh, this one makes more sense. I think I will just take it over the tongue as well because it'll be lighter because of the white on that we did on the tongue anyway. Little fluffy butt running around. We were worried about him for a little bit because he was outside playing the other day and he went to get his frisbee and he like stopped and tried to turn and twisted his ankle or something, but he did not want to put any weight on the <laughs> box. Sake. Asshole. Anyway, he didn't want to put any weight on that foot, but then he started doing it. So I think it was okay. He seems to be running around just fine now, at least. It was just, just uncomfortable enough. He didn't want to do anything the right way. I'm just going to use my finger. Got enough paint on my hands anyway. It doesn't matter anymore. I've lost. Were you wanting your lemonade? Uh, no, I still have coffee. Okay. Thank you, though. pretty good. Yeah. That looks nice and nasty, right? Yeah. You think we should give something away this month? Cause it is we really should. No, I think we should. I think we should give away a, a printed mini. We should do a, one of the... That looks really, really good. So I'm just kind of going around these other areas and, and dabbing on with some 
It's finger painting time, bitches. Um. Well, hey, so in a couple of episodes, we'll hit episode 25. Maybe that's a good one. To give something away? Or do you want to do it on a certain day? No. I don't have any real preference. I mean, we can give something away right now if you want to. <laughs> no, I want to do it tonight. I want to think about it. No, I mean, I've, Halloween. well, I know, but see, you're saying I want to think about it, but I've already got like five minis going through my head well, of, I, away that many. <laughs> I think just one, right? <laughs> I don't know. Like you said, it's Halloween month. It's true. Oh, sir is barking. Yes. <laughs> hey, Azumi, how you feeling? I should sit up straighter and I won't have such cramps in my back. <laughs> uh, no, this is your father's. I'm sorry. I, I cannot, in good conscience, paint a zombie and give it away. That's just not going to happen, my love. Especially to someone who stopped watching The Walking Dead with me. <laughs> So it's not very often that I get to finger paint minis, but this is kind of awesome. So, I mean, it's Halloween month. I'm, I'm kind of okay with giving away more than, than one for sure. I'm almost thinking we should do one a stream. One, like starting tonight? Yeah. If that's that's like eight or ten or whatever streams. You're talking about every Tuesday maybe? Or? Every Tuesday is what I mean, every yes. Tuesday. Because right now I don't have anything planned for Sunday. Um, because, you know, Sundays are my new, my big project. And I don't know what my big project, my next big project is going to be. So I don't really have anything planned for that yet. All right, every Tuesday starting today then, I guess. Every Tuesday starting today. Uh, I mean, obviously I don't have any pictures to show or anything. Um, if you go, I can definitely, because I, I know what I want to give away tonight is going to be the potion I was just taught, or... Yeah, the potion I was just talking about. The potion bottle. Where is that? So... I can't actually touch anything at the moment. Cora, can you get me a wet paper towel, please, baby? Um, go to uh, my mini... No, never mind. Gotta give me a minute. We're gonna do, this is not coming where I want it to with my finger. Sorry, kid. On the network where the minis are? Mm-hmm. You want me to go find a picture of what you're saying? Yeah. Oh, so you don't have it printed yet? No, I don't have it printed yet. Ah, okay. I will go look for it. I was just reminding everybody in chat if they want in on it, they need to follow before we do the giveaway mm -hmm. later. Is it wet? Mm-hmm. And you just set it right here and I'll get it in two seconds. Mm -hmm. Here's a dry one. Thank you. Okay, I'm in the 3D models that are so go to my mini, or my, mm, thank you, my love. Oh my gosh. I don't know what the hell I would do if it wasn't for Cora. Starve. Starve. I would starve. I'm just looking for a directory called Starve. What, what, now I'm in 
there, so now what? Um, I th it might be under Adorable Monsters. Oh, is it a new one? Yeah, it's it's brand new. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, the chromunculus ones. I believe so. Oh, Cora hasn't looked at these. No. Okay, I'm looking at the the picture that's got the big one and the shelf with the hands off and all that. It's not mm -hmm. that one, right? I mean, that's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, there, it shows the whole collection there, and what we're going to do is the larger, or actually, no, you know what? We're going to put that picture up, share that picture, and then the winner will get to pick one from there. Okay. So All that's right. what we'll do. Give me a moment, I will show everyone. Okay, I'm going to clean my hands while he's doing that. And yes, my thumbs are still healing. Oh, wow. And coffee, 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 coffee. Ooh, Cora is stealing um, edible things. Edible things. <laughs> oh, you dork. Okay. Just trying to make sure that the paint that I have on my fingers doesn't transfer to him. I think I'm safe to kind of pick him back up again. I'm just going to keep using this real quick instead of my fingers. Although that was a lot of fun. I am going to come back and make the skull more white again. But I like how the edges are kind of... Makes those edges look... Yeah. Which is what you want, right? Okay, I am prepared to show everyone a picture of this. Awesome sauce. You ready? Yep. We are showing it. Can we talk about it again? So basically, this is the Adorables creature. This is one of the prints. And what you're going to be able to do is whoever wins the drawing tonight will be able to pick one from that photo. And that is what I will print and ship to you. It is Adorable Nightmares from Mini Monster Mayhem. From Mini Monster Mayhem, yes. Sorry. Adorable what did I say? Creatures. Oh, it's, they're cutesies. I can't handle the hair. <laughs> I absolutely oh he has the most adorable kitties on this one too like I can't handle the cuteness on this seriously cannot handle the cuteness it is like beyond beyond love 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 this so anyway that is what you will get to pick from and I like I said I will print and ship it and we will pick a winner at some point tonight not sure when but make sure that you are following because we will pick from our followers. And the other thing is we have had this happen in the past where a follower will go in and try to make sure they're following and click the button and they unfollow. So I'm giving plenty of warning, plenty of time. <laughs> poor my baby, my poor Izzy. The thing is, my baby, you know I'll print you one anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, make sure you're following, and we'll do the drawing here in a little bit. But it is too awesome of a month to not do giveaways. So every week this month during the stream, we will do a giveaway.
See, and now he looks like all splotchy and awesome. And I am totally like loving this even more than I thought I would. I mean, I knew I was gonna love it. I'm looking, I know he had another set of like veins. That's it right there. He's okay. He's a zombie. He's dead. It's, it doesn't hurt. I promise. Yes, I'm all right. Okay. I'm going to come back and clean up the scalp now because, like I said, I really want that bone to be shiny and bone. Sounds cool. You know, I thought this would take me a lot longer, but I feel like I'm almost done with him. Well, I mean, we're over an hour into the stream. Oh, okay. See, time flies so much for me. Yeah, even the first 20 minutes, it seemed like you were only start, just started, and I looked up and there were 20 minutes past already. do you know that spot that we did around the scalp up here looks a little too perfect just a little tiny bit more paint but now I'm just really kind of scrubbing with the q-tip I'm scrubbing pretty hard actually nope 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 stay where you are dork So pretty. I know I have more Q-tips, but I might just... No, I thought I had them right around here, but apparently I don't. So I'll just get this sponge back out because I want to... Oh, they're on the other side. <laughs> they were over here instead of over here with all my other... I have like made a massive mess playing. I mean, like my paper towel is been my kind of my area but like everything is just a mess over here because <laughs> I'm just having so much fun playing with everything nope don't like how that worked so we are going to use the q-tip that I found So, I think we've had enough warning for making sure you're following. No, no, no. No, not, Ty's not ready yet. wait until the end of the stream to do it. Okay. I'm, I'm letting other people know, too, you know? Oh, okay. So, yeah, probably, are we going to go to 8.30 or what time? We're gonna... No, I'm actually, that's why I was saying it. Is at 8? Probably. Okay. 
I'm not exactly sure what time it is, so I probably shouldn't have said that, but. It is 7.42, less than 20 minutes to go. Yes, I think that's gonna be fine. Okay, I am gonna come back in with my smaller brush here, get my eyes back cleaned up some. You're grounded. Oh my gosh, that got me. That was just jerk. I want to make his right inside his eyelid, kind of dark. I did feel like I was about to chunk the head. I, I really did, Iz Izumi. Whew. That actually got me really good. Okay, this is such a mess. It has got to move. Okay. A little moth got in the house whenever I took Sir out the last time. A little baby one. Get my Q-tip back again because I want to go right inside that nose area a little bit and get some of this rusted, icky red in there. Now the fun part, I'm going to make the very inside of his eyes, the, um, see that's the iris, so that's the pupil, really bright green. Because that outer edge where the iris is, I'm going to come back probably another minute or so and hit it with the glow in the dark which should stay basically the same kind of shade. Thank you for the follow, Mechanical 12. Me Mechanical Frog 12. I love frogs. I'm so sorry. I skip over the most fun part. Oh, I kind of want to finger paint his hair with the Because it works so well. But I'm not gonna. I got him basically clean. I'm gonna try to leave him that way. Just dry brush a little bit of this gray on his hair. 
Because that other brown really didn't show up at all. Which kind of annoyed me. I still feel like I need to do quite a bit of detail work on that. On his hair, you know? Sorry, I'm just like in the zone, like dry brushing, man. Okay. I'm going to put that away so I can actually like think again. All right. Well, let's try this instead with the brown. That's working better. So when I actually dry brushed with this brown, I couldn't see it at all. But it's just like a really nice chestnut brown. I have no idea why, but this music is making me want to watch uh, Fry Firefly. Really? Well, yeah. I don't know. I mean, does it take a lot to make you want to watch Firefly? No. Not really. Right? I mean <laughs> yes, Mechanical. He has had better days, and his day is yet to get worse. <laughs> I still have a surprise in store for everyone. But I do love him, and he will have a good home here with us. He will absolutely be in a good place. Just using the side of my brush to hit the highlights. Because for some reason, it just doesn't want to dry. This particular color doesn't want to dry brush. I think it's a little too thick. It might be the only problem. I feel like I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> I'm like fighting it and fighting it. Whenever you're ready, sweetheart. It's about 10 till now and you're still seeming like you got some work to do. So. I do have a little bit of work to do, but I am, it, it really is just a little bit of work to do. Um, the biggest part is, yeah, but there's something that I'm going to be doing here in a few minutes. Something I, know about. Mm, I don't know. Um, that visually doesn't really need to be paid that much attention to. So you could do the drawing. 
No, no, no. I'm saying when I'm ready to do that, uh, like you can have me on screen, but they don't really need to be paying attention to me either. You should get ready for the drawing. <laughs> so everybody needs to be here. Everybody needs to be paying attention because free things are coming y'all's way. We're going to flip around. Let's see, plants versus zombies. He loses. Because I am fairly decent at that game. And by that I mean I enjoy playing it, and win or lose, I will keep playing it because why the hell not? I think we're going to put the candy bowl right next to him. So kids got to come up and pet him, and then they can have candy. <laughs> I don't think I've actually beaten the game. Mo I mean, not like like the first one, yes, but not... Um, I haven't beaten the second game at all. The mobile version I have not beaten. I don't really like playing it on my phone, to be honest. Because my phone's kind of a stupid head. Okay. Now I think it's time to put on our glow in the dark, which I don't know that it'll really work, but I'm more, I am happy to put a coat. <laughs> I just read mechanical, <laughs> mechanical frogs take notes digitally, <laughs> diligently. <laughs> I'm done. Thank God we're almost done because I am not speaking well. I hope this glows in the dark. I don't actually care if it does or not. I mean, I would love it to, but in the sheer chance that it will, I will happily apply some of this paint. If I remember right, it does. It just doesn't do it well. But it'll be so much fun if it does. Okay. See, he's got some wart slash boil things. Add a little bit of color to them. A freckle. I don't know. He's so pretty. That one got me really good. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Oh, wow. Oh, was that your way of saying you're ready? No. <laughs> Just me being bored and wanting to get you. <laughs> wow. Oh. That, that sucked. That that sucked. You know, he almost got launched, and you weren't gonna get a good a new zombie. I'm just saying. Oh. <laughs> so now I'm just using that same red and kind of going in a few creases.
Oh, you got him too. <laughs> oh, I loves it. I love it when you get us both. That is so much better. It is so much more gratifying. Oh, wow. Oh. You know how I always say that I don't want my um, shades. Well, oh, there's these. Um, I don't want my shades to pool. Well, on this, I want my shade this to pool because it does this when it pools and it gets that really deep, deep, deep color. You got him really good. That was awesome. Yeah, the hair looks better now. I thought there was him for a minute. Thanks for the bit, Sawdust. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> oh, that... <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Normally, Ty's the one doing that one, so I assumed it was him. <laughs> 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 So the duck didn't scare me. I like I heard the duck, but then you, <laughs> then you jumped and it got you getting got got me. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Oh shit! My my uh, brush decided it was done. <laughs> I just want to go like right up there. Oh, are we almost there? Uh, let's see, mechanical frog. I've been painting and had a cheapo brush just fall apart. It was just done. <laughs> I think that's what that one was. It's just done. No, just, I'm out. I'm out. I quit. I'm out. Um, I actually typically use cheaper brushes just because I am a, I am pretty rough on them. So it, it doesn't bother me to, to buy new ones. Um, and even like this set. It's very comfortable, uh, but I just got it on Amazon and it was like, I think $12 for 12 brushes. So I don't even think it was that much to be honest. Um, uh, yeah, they're just nice comfy brushes. I, I have a crap ton of brushes, but I tend to use one or two and that's it. <laughs> Still to this day, my favorite brush, uh, my favorite brushes for dry brushing has been hands down the makeup brushes that my bestest friend gave me and they were not expensive either. But I am prepared to put him on the stand that has been pre-made. So, would you like to do the drawing, or would you like to switch to the big cam, and I'll do this, put it on the stand? Let's do that first. Okay. Wow. So. Oh, he is so pretty. I love all the gore. It's so awesome. All right. This is definitely a little more gory than I was expecting it to be, but that's okay. Okay, so. We all know that it's plants versus zombies, so. 
This is the stand I made him. And this is why he has a hole in his head. That is great. Oh, wait. Can't quite see where I'm going here. Some of the supports are in the way. Oh, you did test it before. <laughs> no, I did, I did, but they uh, they just kind of shift around. The supports are in there fairly loose. Some of them are like really high up. There it goes. Oh, okay, back it up. A little more. There. Uh, now go down with it, huh? Right there. <laughs> <laughs> plants won. So the plants have scored a point. So the next thing I'm going to do is I have this really cute ribbon. I have this really cute ribbon. So I'm going to put the ribbon around here. But while I'm doing that, we can be doing the drawing. Okay. Should I put it back on the main screen then? Um, probably not going to be able to see what I'm doing regardless. That's what I'm saying. That's why I was saying you probably do that and I can jabber. But, All right. yeah, we're going to do it that way. Yes, so everybody is there. Everybody is here. So we are going to do the drawing, guys. And remember, the drawing is going to be for one of the um, things that Ty had in the photo. You will be able to pick what you, are do what you want, printed, and then I will ship it to you. I am ready for the name. I need my scissors. Drummel is Beardman Cam. Oh no, they want Beardman Cam. They can't hear me though. I know, but they still want to see you. Okay, you turn the beard cam on, and then I'm gonna tell you what it's saying. <laughs> One second. Oh, well, I got it on me. Congratulations, Mechanical Frog 12. Yay! Good thing you followed so quickly. <laughs> so you will get to pick one of those, and you will let me know which one you want, and we will absolutely ship it to you. <laughs> yes, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. So I need my scissors still, though. Uh, Mechanical Frog, are you on our Discord as well? Because you will need to make sure you get a hold with Ty, and we need to get your address situated. Yeah, get on, join our Discord, and then message me. If I don't message you first, then uh, we can exchange in a private message. Okay. Ty, can you put the Discord link up for him? Because he is not, I am so assuming him, I apologize. I do uh, not mean to make right. assumptions. Can you put the link up for them? Ha 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 ha. Wow, I closed everything. Okay, one second. Uh... Corlew, I need scissors. So basically, once I get handed a pair of scissors, I'm going to cut the ribbon, and then that's what the front will look like. Well, you can't see because Ty's got the thingy up, but. I'm Beetlejuice, you have to say my name if you want me something. Well, I asked your father, but he was busy doing the Discord thing. That's pretty. I really like that ribbon. Right probably gonna steal the rest of They didn't oh, that catch was it. A mess. Eh, it's free ribbon. Well, free to you. Yeah, it's free for me. It was ten dollars for you. Nope, got it on sale. Sale, nice. Good. Good. It's fair. Yes, Michaels ha currently has all of their um, Halloween stuff on clearance already. So it's like fifty percent off. Hopefully, they have more of their stuff in stock. They do not. 
their stuff is on Tuesdays. So they probably just don't have it in store yet. So, oh, let's see if I can get this a little bit better underneath the camera. I am just looping it so that I have a little pretty bow. And then this piece will roll in. And then I will glue that on and we'll have a pretty little bow for the zombies. And hot glue would probably work better for this, but it's not plugged in. So I'm going to use my super glue that I have around here somewhere. Need a little piece of string. Oh, that'll work. I have these left over from where I did what I did with my hair. <laughs> Son of a crap that got me good oh wow oh son of a biscuit eater <laughs> oh wow that was not cool man not cool <laughs> I mean it is but Hi, Max. Welcome to the show. I am just putting a pretty little bow on right now. I'm getting stuff everywhere. And I'm banging his head on here. Sorry, I keep bouncing that camera. I'm like hitting him with the camera. Or hitting the camera with him is what I mean. But I am desperately trying to avoid super gluing my fingers. So I am paying much more attention to the glue and what I'm doing than what the cameras can see. So I do apologize. Okay. We'll be back in chat here in just a minute. Sorry. The big broken one. What? The frog the big, the big one. Oh, awesome. Skeletons inside and stuff. Yeah, I, I was hoping to see that one. Yeah, I really, I cannot wait to print that one. Again, I am trying to pay attention to not getting glue on my fingers. Because my fingers honestly cannot handle it right now. Come on, ribbon. And I have all of their info, so. Awesome sauce. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the scare. <laughs> and thank you for picking one that I really want to print and see it. <laughs> Come on, damn it. Okay. I'm just trying to get this ribbon to stick up here right now.
Yeah, the problem is my fingers are still so sensitive that I just, I, they're still, still healing. And I just, I need to not get any more chemicals on them. Yeah, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I definitely, that one looks like my favorite, honestly. Um, but he's, that whole collection, this, this whole collection this month is going to be a freaking blast. So I think what I'm going to do is stick to this theme. And next week, we're going to give another one away from my mini monster. And it'll be from this collection as well. Maybe I'll do the... Yeah, since... Yeah. So next week, we're going to give away one of the cats. Ty, do you want to pull those cats in there? While I'm... So that's what we're going to give away. Is, and we'll do the exact same thing because I think that worked really, really well. Hi, Dagmar. Um, we'll do the same thing. The winner gets to pick one from the group. Oh. Oh. He went back like screw. He went back like a foot. Okay. Now I am happy with my bow and my ribbon. So, Ty, you want to switch screens again? Uh, it's up to you. Pick no! one. No! So this is our... I think cat trick or treaters. This is our plants versus zombies and the plants won. But I am super happy with him. No, you're fine. I'm kind of spinning it around. <laughs> Almost ready. Yeah, I'm really happy with how gory, cutesy he looks still, too. Okay, I'm ready to show him as soon as you're ready to talk about him. Okay. Um, so, next week, because it's Halloween month... We're going to be awesome, and every single Tuesday stream, we're going to give away a mini. So, Ty, go ahead and post it. This is going to be the next week. We will allow the winner to pick one of these minis, and I will print it and ship it to the winner. Um, this tonight, Mechanical Frog won, and he picked an awesome mini that I cannot wait but look how cute these, these kitties are. I love them. I love them so much. They're amazing. Um, but this is also from my mini monster or mini monster mayhem. I say my mini monster because he's mine. <laughs> so next week we will be giving away one of these kitties. So make sure you join. Make sure you're followed. Make sure you have done all of the amazing things. And I love you guys. And the zombies lost this battle. I won the battle. Yay! He's so cute. But we have our very first piece officially done for the house to decorate. And it's amazing. And I'm so happy with my little zombie head. Um, so basically what we did was we printed out a big giant zombie head, literally as big as I could possibly fit onto my build plate. Then I got a stick from the yard and stuck it through him. <laughs> it was really that simple. This is a simple terracotta pot. No big, no big, uh, no big mystery there. This is fake grass from Michael's. Just stuffed it in there, and inside the pot is just that nasty floral foam to keep it propped up and then a nice little halloween ribbon 
And we have our very first, Dag has said something to you, sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. We have our very first Halloween decoration to go up. And I'm so happy. So he will be taking the place of my beautiful flowers that my Isabella brought me. But he's going to live there until we are going to be putting out him outside for the trick-or-treaters to come and get candy from. So, make sure you guys come back next week for your chance to win the cute, cute, cute little kitties. And, <laughs> which cat, yes. Ah, uh, I love you guys and thank you guys for joining. And we will, uh, no, Isabella, it's a stick from the yard. It's literally, his head is on a pike. That's it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mechanical Frog, for the applause. But uh, he's gory and nasty and the most cutest little thing ever, and I love him. And uh, we're going to go for now. But we will see you guys next week. And, guys, I finished a whole nother one. And he was big, too. Completely finished on the stream. I'm getting so much better at this. Uh -huh. That is two done on stream, not like having to finish later. <laughs>